Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well this afternoon. I'm going to be doing another movie review for you all. This movie is a horror film from Argentina, Spanish language English subs, released in the year 2020, directed by Christian Ponce, and this film is called The History of the Occult. So The History of the Occult is about a TV program called 60 Minutes Till Midnight. They're very controversial, they take on very touchy subjects, and as a result of that, the government want them gone. So tonight's their final episode, and they're going to go out with a bang. They're going to touch on a conspiracy theory that links the government with witchcraft. And so they're going to be evidence to suggest you know, what they've actually done to get into power, and this is going to make the government very angry, so the crew are in a safe house until this all finishes. So they're counting down the minutes to the premiere, and once it does air, very strange things start to happen, which really intensifies the paranoia of this crew. So whether or not it is a conspiracy theory, or in fact reality, is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on the history of the occult. Conspiracy theories can be a very scary thing and they can be a very fun thing. You know, as far as a movie is concerned, it can be very entertaining, but unfortunately a lot of movies don't understand the power of a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory is something that is not proven a hundred percent. This is something that is open in the air as far as interpretation is concerned. And that does create a lot of vulnerability and it does create a lot of uncertainty. But once you actually know something, then it goes into fact. And so a conspiracy theory, a lot of these movies, they tie up loose ends and they really destroy the power of a conspiracy theory. So that was my initial uh, um, reaction when I saw the trailer, that this is a film that was going to be up in the air as far as interpretation is concerned, but it was going to tie up all loose ends and going to lose the power of that. And so being an Argentinian horror film, for those of you who know my channel, you know that Argentina is very close to me. So more so uh, than any other part of the world, I'm willing to give this uh, area, this country, a shot. And so I was hoping that it was going to be a gem, but you know, one in six movies as far as Argentine horror is concerned is very good. And you have to put up with a lot of mediocrity before you get to that gold. And so not anticipating that this movie was going to be gold, I was hoping that it was going to be worthwhile. And I will say, thankfully, this movie is definitely worthwhile because it understands what the power is of a conspiracy theory. This is a movie that doesn't hold your hand. So if you're after something that spells everything out for you, that has extravagance as far as special effects is concerned, this movie is not going to be for you. But if you like your old fashioned 50s and 60s political thrillers, then the history of their cult is definitely one I would suggest. This is a very psychologically tormenting film because you don't know exactly what is real and what isn't. So there's evidence to suggest that they're actually right as far as the government's connected to witchcraft. And there's also evidence to suggest that maybe the crew are losing their mind a little bit. And this is very relevant in today's society. There's a lot of conspiracy theories out there where people believe they've got a lot of evidence, but they can't prove in concrete what they're actually trying to prove. And so this is exactly what this crew is trying to do. But when strange things start to happen, is it just a coincidence or is it in fact the government trying to stop them from airing this episode because it possesses a lot more truth? And so it has a very domino effect as far as psychological horror is concerned. It starts off as very curious. You start to think maybe the crew is just after ratings, but then they throw out their evidence and it starts to mount. Their case is starting to build. And so that curiosity starts to turn into suspense because that suspense, you're not quite sure what is going to happen and that in turn creates fear. And so you always feel as though you're on edge as far as the, absorb the absorbing qualities that the movie possesses. Part of that absorbing quality isn't the black and white that the movie goes for, so it is a homage to those movies of the 50s and 60s, those classic um, movies that actually send a chill down your spine through the overall monster inside your head. This is a forgotten art as far as horror films are concerned. You have these days in today's generation, the ADHD generation, they can't really concentrate, so they need spectacular fireworks to keep them glued to the screen. But this movie is definitely an Alfred Hitchcock kind of film, is that it does have a horror premise, but is that horror premise all paranoia, or is in fact it reality? And so it has a strong sense of vulnerability, and that vulnerability carried me from the first minute up into the very last minute, where you're never quite sure what is reality. And because of that, I, you have no sense of control, and this is something that I really, really appreciate about this movie. This is a movie that is in black and white, but the overall psychology is definitely not black and white. It's very grey. And so you're not quite sure where to go and you're forced to use your own interpretation. Are you going to use the evidence to actually agree with these people that they are into witchcraft? But there's also enough evidence to suggest that the crew are all very paranoid. 
It's a very psychotic horror film as well. There are some scenes that I thought were very, very unnerving, which again, creates a lot of doubt within the viewer's mind. It, it creates evidence to suggest that maybe this crew are actually losing their mind. But again, there's evidence to suggest that they're onto something. And so you're not quite sure which team to go for. And so that level of vulnerability is there because there's no safety barrier. So the overall, the way that this movie is shot, it creates a strong sense of claustrophobia. The overall safe house, I thought it was getting smaller and smaller as the situation started to spiral. And so it's a snowball effect, but it's a very minimalistic snowball effect. It takes place in very minimal settings, and it doesn't have any special effects. So you really have to concentrate on the script. And I thought the script was absolutely fantastic, and it needed to be fantastic. There was a strong emphasis on the writing of this movie because it's a political kind of film. It's not a movie that's going to rely on blood and gore. It's a movie that is going to absorb you into the character dynamic and also the situation that's taking place. And I thought the writing was really, really authentic. And so I thought the acting was great because the writing allowed the actors to portray characters that were interesting but as I said there's a level of psychosis in this movie that really puts the cat amongst the pigeons and you're never quite sure where to go and this is where the lack of control it's something that I really appreciated because the movie wouldn't have worked if it tied up all loose ends. As I said earlier, a lot of these conspiracy theory films, they fail because they set out what it actually is and therefore it ties up all loose ends. But the purpose of a conspiracy theory is to leave it open-ended. And I definitely feel as though the history of their cult achieves that. If I have issues with this movie, some of the editing here and there could have been a little bit better. Some uh, situations I thought could have been handled a little bit better as well. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away because the less I say about this movie, the better. But there were moments that I thought looked a bit silly, but there were moments that I actually thought were really good. And so fortunately, the positives outweigh the negatives. If you're into this kind of thing, I would highly recommend you check out the history of the cult. And as a result of that, I'm going to give this film three and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.